Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making street tacos, which is a really good restaurant quality taco. These are completely different from soft tacos, which are a form of prison food. Alright, we're going to start by taking the pound and a half of chicken, and we're going to cut that into thin strips. Once we're done cutting that up, we're going to get started on our marinade. Alright, so we're going to start by taking 4 tablespoons of olive oil and adding to that 2 tablespoons of lemon juice. To this mixture, we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of seasoned salt, oregano, and cumin. We're also going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder, as well as a half teaspoon of chili powder and paprika. Mix all this together and you should get this nice colored red slurry. Go ahead and pour that over all of your chicken. Give it a nice little massage. Make sure everything is even and then let it chill for four hours. All right, I'm back. It's been a couple of hours, so we're gonna prepare our toppings. To start, we're going to take a lime, put it underneath our cutting board and roll it on top. Put your weight into it. Then we're going to cut this into wedges. Next, we're going to take some queso fresco. For those of you who have never had this, this is like mozzarella, but with a crumbly texture. I don't really care much for the flavor of it, but this is the most appropriate cheese to put on our street tacos. We're going to take a white onion and we're going to finely dice it. Lastly, we're going to ball up some cilantro and chop that up. Always be sure to do this last, just in case somebody has a gene that makes cilantro taste like soap. I strongly recommend that you steam your tortillas if you're going to make this meal. I don't have a tortilla warmer, so I'm going to improvise using these two bowls. What you do is you take your skillet on medium heat, and you warm up the tortilla a little on each side. Then put it in the improvised warmer and quickly close the lid. As you do this, over the course of several tortillas, heat is going to build up inside the warmer, and the moisture is going to make the tortillas taste better and improve their texture overall. Lay the meat out in the skillets and start cooking it like bacon. Keep warming up your tortillas as you're doing this. Try and get a good rhythm going.
I end up having to use two skillets just so I can get this all done in one go. Then call in a second set of hands to chop up the meat as you finish off the tortillas. I also realized after I recorded all this that you could simply microwave the tortillas using instructions on the bag to achieve a similar effect. When making your tacos, you should first always make sure to use two tortillas per taco. Don't be a hero, they will fall apart on you. Also, do your best not to overstuff the tacos. If you're gonna make these, then I recommend that you make extras and plan on having leftovers. These heat up really well, and they're also a really big flex if you pull these out in front of your coworkers or classmates. <laughs> 